Hi everyone, welcome to a new segment on Tea Sundays called The Tea Corner where we will be discussing various self-development topics um, that, you know, affect many of us. And um, yeah, this segment will be done by me. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. I'd love to hear in the comments section after you subscribe um, what you guys think about the you know, new segments, any ideas that you guys may have, any topics that you would like for me to discuss. The vision for Tea Sundays is for it to be the conversation platform that shines a light on um, stories that we don't hear enough of, stories that we, we don't know about, stories that we don't see, stories that people wouldn't normally be interested in. Um, yeah, just to highlight that everyone has a story. So, you know, getting straight into today's topic, we will be speaking about the concept of believing in yourself. Um, you know, it's a topic that's spoken a lot about. Um, we often hear, you know, this idea of believing in yourself. We see it in quotes. We hear it in many speeches, we hear it in interviews, and in fact, many entrepreneurs have even, you know, gone as far as saying it's perhaps the most important characteristics that, um, that you can ever have as an entrepreneur. And, you know, it can seem like a very daunting topic and a very daunting idea um, because, you know, for some of us, um, self-belief is not something that we have. And so when you're almost told in a command form to believe in yourself, you know, um, it's very difficult to take that on because the question is how, you know, um, how do I develop a belief in myself? How do I, you know, buy into this idea of believing in myself? Um, and more importantly, why believe in myself, you know? Um, and so... It's all these um, various questions that I think we'll be unpacking more of today. The concept of believing in yourself um, is something that cannot be stressed enough. Um, and I think the reason why so many people speak about this topic and stress it as something that's important is because when you believe in yourself um, and when you, when you come out with a certain confidence about yourself um, you're able to achieve far greater right because certain things like failure certain things like um, criticism and um, you know setbacks challenges um, they don't take you away from the idea that whatever it is that you want and whatever it is that you believe will happen in your life will actually happen. Um, they may be disappointing. Um, these things may actually, you know, um, feel like, you know, oh my gosh, what am I doing? Where am I going? Um, and they may cause a doubt, but they will never sway you from continuing on your goal because when you believe in yourself you basically invest in yourself you're basically saying um i'm betting on myself i believe that i can do this that i can become this thing that i want to become or that i can get to this goal that i want to get to and um that's why it's so important and that's why many entrepreneurs have adopted it because you know, no one is going to believe in you as, as, as much as you believe in yourself. In fact, other people will try to convince you that your dreams and all the things that you want are not valid. Um, and so therefore, it's in, incredibly important for you to believe in yourself. Um, so that's the why. Um, the question then comes of like, you know, how? Um, because, you know... I think maybe that's my struggle sometimes with um, these motivational um, concepts that we're introduced to. It's because they don't break down the how. Um, it's very, very difficult 
to get to a point where you 100% buy into yourself, where you 100% um, believe that you know you can get to the goal, um, that you can you can follow your dreams, and that you know you will get there. Um, and it's because there's so much that can take away from your belief in yourself, you know. Um, and it starts from a young age when you don't get chosen for things, when people laugh at you about your dreams, um, when people, you know, say what you want is not possible. Um, all these things um, chip away at your belief in yourself. And by the time, you know, you're older and, you know, you're required to step into your power and, and follow your dreams and do these things that, you know, might seem impossible to other people. Um, it's very difficult to believe in yourself because all these things have chipped away at your confidence and your belief in yourself. Um, and obviously it's, it's different things for different people. Um, and as much as like other people around you can, can believe in you and maybe that can push you, ultimately what's going to get you over the finish line is your belief in yourself. You have to believe that you can do it. Um, and like I'm saying... The question is like how, you know, and um, I think it's a mistake to view believing in yourself as almost like a destination um, and something that, you know, you wake up and you just go, okay, today I believe in myself um, because I think it's very few people that can switch from like, okay, I don't believe in myself to, okay, I fully believe in myself um, today. Um, it's a long journey and it requires a lot of um, practice and so I think you shouldn't be too difficult on yourself if you haven't gotten um, the gist of it, right? Um, and I guess some of the, the ways and some of the practical tools that you can implement in your life is to try things. Um, I believe the more you try things, the more you will actually you know, um, see yourself exercising certain muscles, see yourself, um, you know, doing certain things and you'll see that, oh, actually I have an ability, right? Because the more situations that you put yourself in that, um, test your muscle, that test your, um, ability. And then you, you actually see yourself starting to, you know, do well and, and do these things well, you start to gain confidence and you start to believe in yourself like, oh, I can actually do it, right? Because it's tried and it's tested. You've seen yourself succeed at something, right? Um, and then the second practical tool that you can implement to believe in yourself more is doing affirmations, you know, um, waking up in the morning or in the evening um, and saying to yourself, you know, giving yourself positive affirmations like, I can do anything that I set my mind to. I believe in my power to achieve my dreams. Um, and you find that when you constantly say these things to yourself, um, eventually something, if you say it enough to yourself, I mean, at first it will feel foreign, at first it will feel like, oh, I don't know if I believe this. But the more that you say it to yourself, the more that you actually start to believe, um, you know, that these things are true. Um, and the more it will actually build up a pattern in your mind to believe that, no, actually, I do believe in myself. Um, the third thing that I would say practically is to remove certain things in your life that, um, you know, make you doubt yourself, um, whether that may be people or, um, you know, certain elements in your life that constantly make you doubt yourself. Um, if you cannot remove them physically, um, try to learn to block them out in the sense of like, try to teach yourself that when this person says something to me, I am going to not listen to what they have to say. I am going to listen to myself. Um, and then the fourth thing that I would say is, you know, spend time with yourself. Um, I think the more time you spend with yourself, the more you start to, you know, question things like what took away your self-belief. Um, and when you address those kinds of things, you get to the root of where you stopped believing in yourself. And then you actually, um, you know, start to work through those moments of pain um, and you heal from them. And I think the final thing that I would say um, before I end of this video is 
you know, just um, do exercises around um, interrupting your inner voice, right? Um, when your inner voice goes, no, you can't do that. You know, speak back at it and say, no, I, I can. Um, you know, when you feel like in a moment you're doubting and you're like, oh no, um, I don't know if this person will talk to me. Just go and talk to them. Um, so almost do the opposite of, of what you're feeling. You know, interrupt the patterns that you have. And you'll see that. And I mean, look, you may go to the person and it may bomb. That's fine. Um, you know, allow yourself this idea of um, being okay with embarrassing yourself and failing and doing all of that stuff because... Um, really all embarrassing yourself and failing means is that you're trying out a new thing and you don't know how to do it yet and um, eventually you will learn how to do it um, the same way you didn't you didn't know how to work when you were a child and you learned um, you know if people if you had as a child allowed you know people laughing at you and you falling and all of those things to define that you can't walk, you know, you would have never walked. But the point is to interrupt those um, patterns of behavior that you've developed. Um, you know, when you feel scared in a moment and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to speak to that person. Or, oh no, I'm not going to ask this question because, you know, I f it's stupid or I feel stupid. Put your hand up despite that um, thought and besides that fear. And you know just ask the question and yes it may be stupid or it you could be right and all of that other stuff about like you know oh my god you embarrass yourself and you do all of those things but um i think in going against that inner voice that stops you from doing things you'll start to gain more courage and um eventually that courage will be backed up by the right things right um because obviously you can't just Jay, believe in yourself blindly. You also have to back up what you're doing and what you're saying with, um, you know, things, um, whether that be experience or learning, etc. So the more you apply yourself, the more you learn, the more you do all of those things, um, you know, and now you've learned the pattern of interrupting your thoughts and interrupting your, your limiting behavior. Um, you will eventually, you know, yeah, just like now when you start asking a question and it's an informed question because you've prepared um, and you do, you, you, first of all, now you're asking the question with more courage, but now that you have the tools and you have the backup, um, you know, people are going to start noticing that, oh, you know, this person went from, you know, being the person who was asking the stupid questions to the person who's asking the smart questions. And, you know, that's going to be complimented and rewarded in some way. And that will build your belief in yourself. Um, but you also would have built courage, right, to step out whether you have the qualification or whether you don't. Um, and so when you do have the qualification and you've built up the courage, um, you're just going to be able to do so much more. Um, so I hope that gives you a few practical steps of how to believe in yourself more. And I hope you enjoyed this very short and sweet episode. Um, go and yeah, just practice these five practical steps that I've given. And um, hopefully you build your belief in yourself. And remember, it's a journey, not a destination. So be easy on yourself. Um, try it one at a time and eventually you'll get there. Thank you for coming to the Tea Sunday's Corner um, or the Tea Corner. And yeah, I hope you have a great day, night, etc. ahead of you. Um, and see you next time.